Hello, here we are with a quick hands-on of the ZTE Lite Tab 2, or the V9A as it's otherwise known. Let's uh, boot it up and we've got the lock screen here which we can go into the different quick settings that we've got here. So let's start off and go into the phone. Now we've got a few dialer options, let's just go into the standard one and we can see that we've got a nice big buttons on here for dialing a number, we can access our favourite contacts, um, our call log and what have you if we've got it all set up. So this is a 3G enabled device, we can pop a SIM card into it, we can use that SIM card for browsing the web and for making calls. Now we've got a really nice fluid graphic interface here, quite heavily customised with this launcher so it makes it a little bit more interactive. But if we double tap on the home key, we've got the more standard plain home screens that we'd expect to see with Android and a ZT device. So this device is designed to appeal to a wide audience, but it's designed also to provide functionality at a price. It's not necessarily made of the highest grade materials or designed to have the best specification. What it's designed to do is perform um, at a price point that works for a lot of people and uh, it certainly does that. It's comparable to the original Samsung Galaxy Tab that I have here. Weight, size and form factor is almost identical, very similar specification. Um, it is running a later version of Android but uh, the Galaxy Tab has been updated to 2.3 now. Both can take a SIM card, this can also take a micro SD card slot as well up to 30 micro SD card up to 32 um, gigabytes. So we've got the applications that we can scroll through. So on board this device we do have a rear facing 3 megapixel camera, we've got a front facing VGA camera as well, we've got the option to take a picture or a video. We've got the options to change the settings and the white balance and what have you. So if we flick to the camera, we can change to the front camera as well and we'll now see the video that we're recording with. You can see that the screen rotates to the different orientations, which is quite nice. Let's go back to the uh, home screen here. Let's just go into the settings to show you what we've got. So about the device, you can see that it's a light tab 2 running Android version 2.3.5. So there's a 1.4 gigahertz processor in here. It's got a 3,400 milliamp hour battery, so should give you reasonable battery life. Got a web page loaded up here via Wi-Fi. So there's the Clove homepage. And double tap in to zoom in. I can open a particular product. I can pinch and zoom in and out. I can double tap in and out. And the text then renders on screen to make it easier to read. So I've got my standard sort of Android messaging here, nothing too fancy whatsoever. Standard Android keyboard, and of course the benefit of Android, you can do a lot of your own customization on here if you choose. So of course I could customize the home screen by putting shortcuts, widgets, and what have you as well. So there's a whole range of applications on here. We've got FM radio, which is quite useful for a lot of people. We've got music, there's a lot of games, sound recorder, and what have you as well. So that's just a very quick hands-on with the ZT Light Tab 2.